Are there some valid critiques of this Fenty Beauty Foundation? Yes. Is it mid? Hey y'all, it's Jayla, AKA Jay Chanelli on the internet. Welcome back to my channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and join us over here. Let's get right into it. I've been peeping y'all tweets calling Fenty Beauty mid and I'm here to talk about it. So Fenty Beauty has been around for a while now. They were founded in 2017, which makes them five years into the beauty industry. So make no mistake, when Fenty Beauty first launched, they were all the hype. First of all, it's a celebrity beauty line and not just any celebrity, Rihanna, okay? Miss Run This Town tonight quite literally because she's performing at the Super Bowl. The cards were already stacked in her favor in that regard because honestly who doesn't love Rihanna? And then you have a beauty brand that breaks boundaries okay coming out with 40 shades and literally shaking the beauty industry up okay had them quivering in their boots as we've gotten further and further from that initial launch we've seen some different sentiments arise so I'm going to give you a very thorough review of every Fenty Beauty product that I own. Without further ado let's get right into this video. This first category of Fenty Beauty products are hands down best of the best. The bronzers, honey. These are the Sunstalker bronzers and yes, I own two of them. So I did do initial reviews of each one of these bronzers. I initially went for Beige and Gal, which is a lighter, more warm reddish color. And then I decided to deepen it up a little more by going for Caramel Cuties. And y'all, I have not used another bronzer since purchasing these products. I've owned these for a couple of years now, have not hit pan on either one of them. These bronzers are very pigmented, very smooth. I believe that there are eight or nine different shades. I like them so much that not only do I own two different shades, I also bought the bronzer palette, girl. So they came out with this product pretty recently in 2022, I believe. And this is what the bronzer palette looks like. So it actually comes with two different highlighter shades, and then you have five different bronzer colors. Right now, you're looking at the color Caramel Cutie, which is the one that I already use. So this is like my go-to bronzer color. I usually mix that with Coco Naughty, which is this one right here. And then Thick Mint, I believe, is their deepest bronzer shade. Now, if you just look at this, it looks like a literal eyeshadow palette. So their bronzers are multifunctional, multi-purpose, and one of the best products they've ever launched. I can't think of another bronzer on the market that goes head to head with Miss Fenty. If you know about one, let me know in the comment section below. Next product that is hands down one of the best products Fenty Beauty has to offer, the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealers, okay? And if you can't tell, I'm not new to this, I'm true to this. I actually own four different shades of the Fenty Concealer and I'll tell you why, because I think each one is important. And then I also have literal backup. So if you don't already know how the Fenty concealers work, you're actually supposed to buy the shade concealer that your foundation is. One of my Fenty shades is the color 360, so I purchased the 360 concealer, which is just a step above my foundation shade. If you're not new to my channel, you know that I also wear the shade 385 in the Fenty foundation, so I do also own the color 385. So the color 385 is actually like my skin tone. I own the color 350 and 350 is again going to be like two or three shades lighter than my foundation shade also a little warmer than my foundation shade and then finally I own the color 280 which I like to call my Kim K shade this is like my super brightening shade when again I want that Kim Kardashian highlight contour effect now let me tell y'all why this concealer is so good that I own six bottles of it the coverage on these concealers is chef's kiss when i tell you nothing's peeking through when i go in and spot conceal and the fact that i can find my exact shade match means that i can put this concealer on with nothing else on my face and you would not know that i had on makeup and the fact that you can pick from 50 different shades it's so so creamy it's a beautiful formulation it's not too liquidy it's not drying at all and a little goes a long way last product in this category if somebody tells you they don't like this product by Fenty Beauty I don't trust them miss gloss bomb these lip glosses change the game so we got this one 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 we got this this one we got this one we got this one we got this one and those are just all the minis okay we also have the gloss bomb creams and the gloss bomb heat which are different variations of the original 
no gloss bomb formula so some of them have no shimmer some of them are lip plumpers i've used the gloss bombs enough to speak on them okay and they are a full proof product a huge doe foot applicator that you don't have to double dip the formulation is so pretty it's not sticky at all it gives you a very nice shine perfect amount of shimmer in the gloss you can find a version of the gloss bomb that works for it everyone this one that i'm wearing and holding right now is called ruby milk it's a beautiful hot pink color perfect amount of shimmer without being annoying or giving you that gritty glitter feel you don't get that at all it's such a smooth formula the next category of fenty beauty products are going to be products that i personally love but there are critiques that i understand first up is our diamond bomb highlighters that's what it looks like when you open it it is this beautiful jelly but bomb like consistency is very soft to the touch look at it on my finger this is what the diamond bombs look like and i actually do own two different colors this one is the color royal icing which is like a beautiful true gold color my favorite color is original color how many carrots oh, oh do y'all see that it literally makes your skin look wet you look like you are dripping and shimmer. The critique I've heard, well, first of all, the packaging is a little trash. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Yeah, we should do something about this. This should not happen. The other critique that I've heard about this actual product itself is that it's a little too glittery for people. And if you're someone who doesn't like glitter, you are not going to like this highlighter. If you wanna shine bright like a diamond, pick this up. Next product from Fenty that I love down, but y'all apparently don't, are Mademoiselle lipsticks. This is the Mademoiselle lipstick in the color Shawty. It's like a chestnut brown. I also own a red lipstick that I, y'all know I love. And I own this little mini version, pinky mauve color, which goes really great when you want to do like a pink nude. I don't think Fenty sells these anymore. These were products that came out during the matte lipstick era during the liquid lipstick era as you can probably guess one of the complaints or critiques that people made of this product was that it was too dry and now Fenty does have newer semi-matte lipsticks that of course are not as drying but I like these I like the OGs so. next Fenty Beauty product that I love the powder foundations I do own two different shades of the powder foundation I'm currently wearing the color 385 but I also own the color 360 this is what 360 looks like y'all have not seen me in liquid foundation in a very long time i've been going to the powders it's less messy it's a quicker application it's an easier application and i just really like the way that the finish looks i'm not sure if people had a whole lot of critiques of the powder foundation but i do know that there are other powder foundations on the market that people may gravitate towards before immediately going to fenty now i do have reviews of both of these shades i compared the two into the products that have their good days and sometimes you know they have their bad days first one is going to be the fenty beauty ease drop skin tint this is basically fenty beauty scented moisturizer i have it in the color 16 and i did a completely dedicated review to this product so go ahead and check it out i actually swatched a couple of different shades in case you're around my skin tone and you need to know what shade to pick up this product has a beautiful finish literally skin blurring filter effect finish it works very well for the girls who like a good no makeup makeup look or if you like super light makeup you will adore this product i also have taken really nice pictures with this product please look at them and go follow me on instagram at jay Chanel if you want to see more pictures like that one of the critiques that i personally had of this product when it initially launched is that there are only 25 shades now we know fenty actually offers 50 different foundation shades the shade 16 for the ease drop can fit many different Fenty foundation shades, which I'm personally not a fan of. The more specificity, the better for me. I do feel like if I put this all over my face, it doesn't give my skin tone justice. And that's why I say it's kind of hit or miss. And while we at, let's get into the product that started it all, the Fenty Beauty Foundation. As you can probably tell, it's becoming a pattern here. I have to buy two different Fenty Beauty foundations. So I have the color 360, which is a neutral olive undertone. That's how it was originally marketed. And then I also have 
have the color 385, which is marketed as a neutral undertone. I've heard some critiques of this product that I'm gonna go ahead and share with you, some of which I agree with, some of which I don't. My critique, first and foremost, would be the fact that, you know, I got a big shades. That's a matter of me spending $40 versus spending $80 to get my perfect match. I've heard a lot of people say that they can't actually find their Fenty foundation shade. Whether they feel overwhelmed at the fact that there's so many different shades, which I personally don't think is a bad thing, or they feel like they can't find their undertone. And that's where I would have to agree. Color 385, this is marketed as a neutral undertone. It's not a neutral. It leans warm, you can even see it in the bottle. It gives a little orange. And for people like me who are a neutral undertone, I can't really all the way get away with a neutral warm, okay? I do have to do a little finagling to make sure that it doesn't look too warm on me. You don't get another neutral undertone until the color like 445, which is significantly more deep than this color. So if I was someone who was a couple shades darker with a neutral undertone, I probably wouldn't have a Fenty shade because those undertones are so spray spread out. So I do think they could do a little more product development as far as the undertones go to really make sure that every undertone is being met just like every shade is being met. Amazing things about this foundation, the shade range. 50 foundations for you to choose from. Now for the people who say that the product is too drying, I personally don't agree and I'm a dry skin shouty. I will always own these foundations because I think it's a beautiful, beautiful foundation. It's one of the few foundations that can be full coverage but also make you look natural and a lot of these other full coverage foundations do not do that they give you cake they give you layers of product clearly on your face they may be beautiful but they are not natural and that is something that i don't think can be replaced so I'm gonna sit beside. Next Fenty Beauty product that has some good and has some bad. The Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation. Fenty Beauty no longer sells this product. And that was a mistake. This was actually my favorite foundation, y'all. The Hydrating Foundation, such a gorgeous foundation. One of the foundations I ran to the ground until I realized that they were no longer selling it. And then I stopped using it because I was like, I do not want to run out. This is actually in the color 385. Y'all remember what I said about 385? This 385 is like my perfect shade match. Which is interesting because when this one launched, it was marketed as a one-to-one -one color ratio with the matte foundation. So Fenty hasn't been restocking this foundation for a while. Whatever shades they have left on Sephora and on Fenty's site, I'm pretty sure are on sale for like $13. So if your shade is a stock, highly recommend you scooping it up. I wish I could buy it, but I can't. We gotta do it, friends. Thankfully, it's a pretty short list. The matchsticks. So the matchsticks were literally stick products. They came in the form of concealer, contour, highlight, or blush colors. While the concept was there, I do think these products are just a little too dry to really do what needs to be done. So this one is actually a contour color. This is in the color Truffle. And I did initially start using it as a contour. I quickly realized that I would not be able to draw on my face with this product because it is a little powdery, chalky. It's a little dry. It blends out with some elbow grease. Also purchased the color Chili Mango, which is more like, I'm assuming it's supposed to be marketed as a blush color. Yeah, it's chalky, but it's chalky and it blends out a little too sheer for me. If you're gonna look this pigmented in the stick, you need to keep some of that pigment once you go on the skin. I'm okay with y'all calling those mid. Thankfully, those were the only mid Fenty Beauty products that I own. The rest of them, I just never bought. But I don't really mess with like the eyeshadows. I bought the primers once, wouldn't pick those up again. I just don't think they were worth the price point. Never bought the setting spray, never touched the eyebrow products. I think when brands come out the gate swinging with base product, complexion products, and that is something that they do well, that's what you kind of should stick to in terms of like just guaranteeing a good experience with the product. So most of the products that I buy from Fenty are going to be complexion products, base products, products with the exception of the gloss balm. Those are all the Fenty Beauty products that I own and I hope I gave you a pretty thorough review of whether Fenty Beauty is really mid or not. Let me know what you think in the comment section below especially if you saw a product that you've used before. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it remember to hit that subscribe button. Also like this video so YouTube can share with other people and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!